Hi, this is Karen from the Huntley Library, and today I'm taking you on a field trip to Hidden Tower Stables so we can visit my horse friend Blaze and I can uh, show you how I groom her. So now I'm going to pretend that I'm David Attenborough and narrate my approach to the horses here. Um, we have a bunch out in this pasture, and Blaze is the one that you can see right behind the tree that I'm getting close to. And she should hopefully be pretty easy to catch. I have some treats in my pockets, just in case. Oh, hi, Blaze. Are you going to come up to me all of your own volition? Good girl. So Blaze is a 22-year-old paint mare, and I have been shareboarding her since uh, last November, so we're still getting to know each other. And we are going to go for a ride later on after I groom her. This is my handy dandy bucket of grooming tools and I'm just going to show you a few of Blaze's brushes. Um, if you own a horse or if you take care of a horse you will suddenly find yourself accumulating all kinds of things to groom them with. Um, but the three main brushes that I use when I groom Blaze on a daily basis are this curry brush which I like because it's kind of flexible. Um, it's good for getting the dirt up and out of their coats, and also if you're giving them a bath, this makes a nice scrubby. And then I also use this hard brush with the blue bristles, and that's good for flicking the dust off of them. And there's a soft brush that I like to use on her face, but you can also use this on the body too. She really likes it on her face, and that just kind of picks up all the dust and the hair that's left over after the hard brush goes over. Um, and then there's a, a couple of other things that, that I use. There's a brush for the mane and the tail. This is a very sturdy brush. Um, I don't always brush her tail and her mane every day, um, but when I do I like to use this. And then I have a hoof pick that I use every time um, when I ride her so that I make sure there's no stones or grit in her hooves that will interfere with our ability to ride or hurt her feet. Hi Blaze. You're such a good girl. Do you want to smell this brush? Yes, I do. So I like to start up on the neck here with the curry. And I use a circular motion. And Blaze is actually not too dirty right now. We already rode today, so I've already groomed her once. And you'll do this all over her body on both sides. <laughs> you get down under her chest, she's going to nibble me, and you can get down on her leg here too. You do see some, she's still shedding out from her winter coat, so you can see some hair falling as I do that. And there are different philosophies of grooming, I guess. Um, there are people who vacuum every speck of dust off of their horse. And then there are folks who are just going to groom this sort of saddle girth area. So from the withers here down to where the saddle sits. And then this area here and then right under, um, like right near her armpit where the girth is going to go when we have a saddle on her. That area needs to be really clean so that um, they don't get any cuts or sores from the saddle parts rubbing against their body. Okay, so now we're ready to use the hard brush, which is this blue bristled one. And I'm just going to use it to flick, starting up at the neck again, flick all of that dirt and hair off of her. So you should see lots of clouds of hair and dirt coming off of Blaze. And you just use it to flick all of that dirt and hair off. generally use the hard brush on Lisa's face um, just because she has more sensitive skin there and uh, it's a little bit stiff and uncomfortable for that. I do have a soft brush though that I can use to brush her face. And this one I try and follow the direction that the hair grows. This is the 
soft brush that I use on Blaze's face. You can also use this on their bodies too. And that just kind of gets the last bit of dust and, and hair off of them. So it's more of a finishing brush and you can still see some clouds of dust. If you're really meticulous about your horse's appearance, like if you were going to do a show, you could give them a bath to kind of get rid of the last of that dirt. Or um, they make special vacuums too that you can vacuum your horse with. And that'll take care of a lot of it too. Um, we're really lucky here because we have a wash rack, a heated sort of washing stall that's in the main part of the barn. So if Blaze is really dirty, like if she's on her legs here, and that's gonna take, you know, a while for me to brush out, I can just take her into the wash rack and then hose that right off of her. And it's a lot easier and uh, probably more comfortable for her because she doesn't have to have it brushed out of her hair. And while you're grooming your horse, um, you can start to look for things like swellings or if you feel that their leg is hot or if you're cleaning their hooves and you notice that their hooves need to be trimmed or there's some kind of infection going on there. Horses often get abscesses in their feet, so you might notice that your horse is walking strangely or they're lame and favoring a leg. So all of this... Um, you can kind of sense just by walking them around or grooming them and checking to see if there are any changes in their body or if any there's if there's any sensitivity. So Blaze looks pretty relaxed. She's got her leg kind of cocked up like that. I'm guessing that um, nothing too much is going on with her today. That's good. I've come out at a different time than I usually do. It's mid-afternoon and I usually see Blaze in the morning. So she's probably a little bit surprised to see me right now. She's dealing with the surprise very well, you can tell. And with the, the brush for her mane and tail, it looks a lot like a brush that you use for humans. Um, it's a little bit stiffer though and more durable because horse's hair is a little bit thicker and stiffer than ours is. So you would just use that like you would brushing your own hair. And if there were a lot of knots, you could start at the bottoms of the hair and work out through those knots to pull them out slowly. And uh, use a couple, use two hands to hold the top of the hair so that it pulls less on the mane and tail. And then her forelock, which is like her bangs, is right in the front here, and you can brush that too. Such a cute girl. Yeah. <laughs> So we're going to use the hoof pick now and clean out Blaze's hooves. She's very interested in this. Um, if you have a well-trained horse, then they will already know how to pick up their feet when you ask them to. So I'm going to ask Blaze if she will pick up this foot, and it's going to be a little bit difficult to show you because I'm trying to hold the camera at the same time, but here she's picked up her foot for me, and then I'm just going to clean out this area inside of her hoof, and you can see that it's full of sand from the arena in here. Okay, and this is looking cleaner. You can see kind of the outline of her frog in the middle there, and then her hoof is this part down here. And Blaze just had shoes put on her this week recently to give her a little extra support and to stop the wear and tear on her, her hoof. She can be a little sensitive on her, on her hooves, so that helps with that too. So some other reasons that you might want to groom your horse, aside from just keeping them clean and making sure that their saddle doesn't rub them in the places that it hits their body, um, is to check for any other things that are going on with your horse. Are there swellings? Does their, do their feet feel hot? Or do their legs feel hot? Are there cuts or scratches that need to be attended to? Um, all those kinds of things you'll notice while you're looking at your horse's body and, and brushing and grooming them. And another good thing about grooming is uh, it helps cement a bond between you and your horse. Horses in a herd will groom each other when they're friends and they'll kind of nibble on each other's necks and take care of any itches. So it's a good way to have a relationship with your horse beyond just riding them. Blaze gets all kinds of treats too while I'm grooming her so that totally sweetens the deal for her. Right Blaze? Thank you for being such a good model today. Yeah. 
So I want to thank Blaze for being a really good model. Thank you, Blaze. Um, and myself, a little less so. <laughs> um, I hope you learned something about horse grooming today. My uh, tips come from Girl Scout Camp, which um, was the first place that I learned to ride horses, and that was, you know, 30 years ago now. So these are some good basics for you. So thanks for watching today. I hope you learned a little bit about horse care and, and grooming. Uh, for more great activities and fun things at the Huntley Library, please check out our website, Huntley Library, www.huntleylibrary.org. Um, and we'll see you next time. Thanks.